channel. For those of you who are new here, I'm Deanna, and yeah, welcome. <laughs> um, so today is a really big day, um, a really exciting day. It is All Star Weekend. Um, well, just the All Stars, I guess, because this year they made All Star Weekend one day instead of a whole weekend because of COVID and whatnot. So it's that day. It's Sunday. Um, and I get to dance for the game. So I'm really excited. I never actually pictured myself dancing in an all-star game because I just figured, you know. First of all, I, never, I didn't like hear about it ever going to be in Atlanta the next few years. So it's very much an exciting opportunity um, that kind of just fell into place. So I'm really excited. I look tired because I slightly am. It's 5.30. I woke up at like 5 so I could take my shower, um, detangle this hair. That's the one thing I'm going to say about this hair. As much as I really like the way the wig was made um, and the way it looks when it's dry, it is so difficult to detangle. Like It like mats up really easily um, and I don't like that. I don't like that at all actually. Um, but it's a really nice, it's a nice wig outside of that, but that's such a big factor because it's like I'll, I almost have to detangle it daily when I typically would like to detangle it once and keep it pushing. But no, it's neither here nor there. Um, I woke up at 5, took my shower, detangled my hair, and then also went through everything I need for today just to make sure I have it all together just in case I need to text somebody. Nobody's awake right now most likely, but yeah. So, I'm about to do my makeup. Um, actually, I think I'm going to pack my bag first. I just took all of like, my stuff outside to the side, but I think I'm going to pack my bag first. The side. Yes. Yes. So, we have to make a TikTok. Um, like the So Pretty Challenge. The before and the after. So... What I just did. Okay, put you right here. Um, so, clearly I've left the house. Um, so I have left the house. Um, I'm currently headed to CBS. It's eight o'clock. It's like 8.15 probably. Yes, yeah, 8.15 on the dot actually. Um, and I'm on my way to CBS so I can get some snacks, some waters. Um, Turn right into I'm the sure they'll like, obviously then have stuff your destination. there to eat since we're going to be there all day. But I would just prefer to come a little bit prepared Arrived. so that I'm a picky eater. I'm like a really picky eater. So I don't want to like end up being starved because I just don't like what they have available. So I'd rather just bring some stuff for myself just in case. And it's freezing out here. It's literally 38 degrees, which is so depressing. Um, but yeah, I'm at CVS, I'm about to go in, because I don't want to be late. We have to, um, get tested again, so we got tested yesterday, we got tested on Wednesday, we're getting tested again today, um, that's really way too loose, I don't want to mess up my makeup too soon, um, but yeah, we have to get, but today is going to be a rapid test, and we get tested, and then we wait 
15 minutes for the result so yeah we have to be there at 10 for that and i know i'm gonna get there so i have like i'm traumatized because on thursday when we had practice it took me over 50 minutes to get to the arena because of all-star traffic just people deciding they wanted to come to atlanta even though they can't get into the game we're not gonna get into that but essentially people decided to flood atlanta this weekend so literally was it thursday friday friday is when we had the practice and it literally took me over 50 minutes to get to the arena like i was late for call time because of traffic like a trip that usually takes me 20 minutes max 25 with a little bit of traffic took me over 50 minutes so i'm giving myself ample time today even though i know nobody's awake and like everybody's not out right now i still want to be prepared just in case because i when i tell you i just cannot like i just can't deal with it i can't like i will literally be so upset it's so freaking cold outside it's ridiculous jeez and i just realized that i i'm over here talking about having snacks so that i don't get hungry and i just realized i forgot to eat breakfast okay so i went to starbucks i got myself a well, it's a little melted now, but a, a blended strawberry lemonade and a double bacon and go double bacon and cheddar sandwich. I'm a little out of breath because I was walking. Whoo, whoo, catch a breath, Deanna. But I'm at the arena in the parking lot, just got tested, so I'm sitting in the car waiting for my results. They said they'll text me in 15 minutes, so. Yeah, it's too cold to be waiting outside. Good morning, Deanna. I know you're up. You're already at the arena. Just have yourself a wonderful time. Enjoy your day. I love you. We're proud of you, and we hope to get to see you on the big screen tonight. Mm -hmm. But we'll be cheering you on. Kisses and hugs. Talk to you later. Stay safe, mask up, social distance, and wash your hands. Woo! My mom discovered voice messaging recently. Yeah. Love it, though. I do love it. Let's save it. Again. So ready. Wait. Oh, girl. <laughs> I like this. Thanks. Come on. Hey, yeah. <laughs> I think your phone is newer. Wait, where? Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my ass. That looks phenomenal. I need some. <laughs>
I'm watching Gladys perform right now. Shook. Oops, let me not zoom in. I'm shook right now. We doing a little pre run through. So they're running through everybody who's performing. Um, and I'm just loving this right now. I'm loving it. Yes, ma'am. even done our run through yet it's like it's literally 247 our run through starts at three o'clock if i'm not mistaken probably can't even hear me i haven't been vlogging as much as i should but it's literally it's 5 20. um doors open in 10 minutes we're eating dinner now, so I, I got chicken wings and I don't eat sweet potato fries. I didn't know there was sweet potato. But yeah, it was a lot of different options and this is what I chose. So yeah, I'm gonna get ready to eat soon. To dance soon, to dance soon.
it's halftime, the dunk contest. We're about to head down and watch We've been here 12 it. hours. Yeah, no, we've been here 12 hours. Oh, wow, yeah, 12 hours at this point. Yep. And there's still a whole nother part of the game, so, you know. Go Hawks! Go Hawks! Go Team LeBron <laughs> and Team Durant. Yes. He probably did donate him. I don't know, like. <laughs> probably. Whew. Okay. Um. So what time is it? It's twelve eighteen a.m. I have made it back to Preston's apartment. I'm waiting for him to come down to open the gate. I have 13 miles in my car, but I refuse to get gas. I, I actually don't get gas at night, especially out here. You would think that I could get gas safely in Buckhead, but no. Especially not this weekend. It's Sunday night, and literally the gas station across the street is ridiculous right now. On a Sunday night at 12 a.m., it's like, go home already. But, <laughs> yeah, so I have 13 miles. It's 12 o'clock in the morning just now getting back since 8 a.m it's been a long day it's been a really long day but it's been so fulfilling like this it's honestly once in a lifetime type of opportunity because just thinking like i have no idea when the all-stars will be back in atlanta you know i would pray or hope that it's sometime while i'm still on the team if i'm blessed to be on the team multiple years but like more than just after this year but you know it's like the odds of it being back in atlanta with within the time frame that i see myself on the team is not likely how are you tired i'm vlogging by the way some good action. <laughs> Annoying. Ugh. This one looks really nice, actually. You can turn that off if you can, if you don't mind. What? You can turn that off if you don't mind. 